This is the search results to research screencast from the Early English Books Online Text Creation Partnership, hosted by the University of Michigan Library. This screencast is to help you to make sense of the results you get when searching in TCP, and to move from getting your results to interacting with individual texts in order to carry out your research. Let's start by generating a list of results from a basic full text search. First, we need to go to the search page. And then let's search for the word monkey. After you enter your search terms, you'll be taken to a page with a summary of your search. Take a look at the top left hand corner and you'll see your search results broken down by what phase they fall into. In this case, there are 685 matches in 368 records in phase 1 and 304 matches in 144 records in phase 2. By default, your results list will not be sorted in any order, but you may choose to sort them by author, title, date, ascending or descending, alphabetically by title, or according to the frequency of the hits in each text. So, for our purposes, let's sort our search by frequency. You'll notice that the information displayed for each record includes major bibliographic information such as title, author, publication information, and to which phase it belongs. Additionally, you can see information for how many times your search word appears in each text. There are a number of options for what you, the researcher, may wish to do next. Clicking Results Details will take you to a snippet of the text where your search word occurs. From here, you can also see the structure of the text surrounding your search word, as well as the other sections and subsections in which each instance of the word appears. All of these are hyperlinked, so you can go straight to the section of the book where your word appears, and then, within that section, your word will be highlighted. You may also choose to go to the table of contents, which reflects the structure of the electronic text. This will take you to the main page of the book. You'll see the complete bibliographic information and be able to navigate through the book via links. From the table of contents, you can use the hyperlinks to jump right into a section of text. If you do this, only that section of text will be loaded in your browser at any given time. You might also prefer instead to load the whole text at once into your browser. If you choose this option, you'll get a warning letting you know that depending on the length of the book, this process might be slow but it usually only takes a few moments. Let's go ahead and view an entire text. Here you'll see the warning that I mentioned, and then once the text opens, you can scroll through it from top to bottom like you would with any window in your browser. You'll notice that between sections of text, there are links with page numbers. These links will take you to the Ebo page image corresponding to each section of text. When you click on the link, our system retrieves the PDF image from the Ebo servers and displays it in our interface. If you return to the main page for a record, you can also choose to do a word search just within that book. Finally, clicking Add to Book Bag will store this book in a virtual book bag for you to return to later. Items added to your bag while in Phase 1 will also appear in your book bag in Phase 2 and vice versa. So this is a great way to save and organize your texts while you're doing your searches. You can also search the items in your book bag, so if you build a useful subset of materials there, you can focus your searching in that way. But remember, the items in your book bag will only remain during your current session in TCP. So if you're going to log out and come back later, you're going to want to save those titles elsewhere, because they'll disappear from your book bag. And remember, if you get stuck or have any questions, you can always check the help section of this website to see if you can find your answers there, or contact the Ebo TCP team by returning to the Ebo TCP home screen and clicking on UMDL help to send us your questions or comments via email.